think uh let's then go to lambda um i'm gonna make my skill in lambda uh go to blueprints do a fact skill i'll call it uh body template skill this doesn't matter too much i hopefully have a role already so i'll do lambda base execution um that looks good we'll add a trigger for alexa skills kit if that's not there make sure you're in ireland or north virginia um i think north virginia hit add save the, the fact skill template actually uses uh one of the older it uses some of the old modules for the sdk and we want to update that to the new one what we're going to do first is go to actions export function download deployment package and then you also want to go to um the alexa skills kit you know the sd the node.js sdk github repository uh, i'll put a link to it in the description but once you're here go to clone or download download zip and yeah once you have both of those downloaded open both um and then extract both should open automatically and download the close the zip so it doesn't get confused the other one was here the good thing about using the uh, the template as well is it because it it kind of gives you the the hierarchy you need with the index, the you know package, all the node modules over there. Anyway, as I mentioned, the fact skill template uses the old ones. So if you go into Alexa SDK, you'll see uh, oh, and then library. There's not much here. Um, we need more than that. So what we're gonna do uh, is go into the Alexa SDK in your skill uh, in your function. Go into the folder in the SDK and basically delete everything in your skill in the Alexa SDK folder, copy everything into there, and then go back to the root folder, zip that up, find it, and then you just want to upload that back to your function. You go here, do code entry type, upload a zip file, upload, go to the folder, hit the zip. Hit save. And if you then go to edit code inline, if you go into Alexa SDK and library, you can see all the new stuff here, which is very good. You, you can you you can definitely use the you know the skill management API or you know CLI if you want, but for now I'm just editing it in the inline editor in Lambda. Apart from that, I think that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Um thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Yes.